everyone and welcome to another video in this brand new series of mine. I don't know what order these videos are going to end up going up in, so this might be the first one you see, might be one several weeks away that you see, I just don't know because that is how these videos are going to roll. So in this video I'm going to be talking about nine perfect strangers, oh that rests really well like that, nine perfect strangers by Leanne Moriarty. I picked this up literally in the supermarket last night it was three pound fifty i was like how can i resist because i have enjoyed two leanne moriarty books in the past i have listened to the audiobook of three wishes i think i gave it five stars and i've also read the husband's secret which i gave either four or five stars to as well so i uh, it's an author that i've been planning to read more of and i'm assuming that i'm going to enjoy a lot of her books so this one i picked up knowing nothing and I mean nothing about. All I know about this book is that it's about nine strangers in some sort of health spa retreat kind of thing. And that all is not as it seems because I've watched a few videos here and there about this book since buying it last night. And it seems a bit weird. But I am up for some weird and I can't wait to get stuck into this, which is what I'm going to do shortly after filming this video. So I wanted to just get a few thoughts and feelings out there right now. So as I said, I knew nothing about this book picking it up and I only bought it because it's an author whose work I have previously loved. On Goodreads, it has had 80,313 ratings. And out of that, it's managed to get a 3.54 average. I feel like, considering the amount of ratings, that's not too bad. And I've heard that it's quite strange, so I can kind of understand it being a bit lower, I suppose. All the same, I think this is going to end up being really intriguing. And the fact that I bought a book last night and I'm already going to be reading it shows how intrigued I am. If you've been watching my channel a while, you will know by now what I am like in terms of actually picking books up in a timely manner. This is going to be some sort of record for me. So I am super excited to get stuck into this. I will update you either if something happens or else I will update you at the end of the book with my review. I'm going to say right now, I think I'm going to end up giving this book, I've not even started it obviously, so this is a random stab in the dark prediction. I'm going to give this book four stars. That's my prediction. Let's see how it goes. So last night I managed to finish Nine Perfect Strangers. This took me about a week to read, which considering I've had work and everything going on as well, isn't too bad at all because it's got quite a small font and it's like 400 odd pages and it's not been the only book I've been reading. So I'm quite impressed with my progress on this one, actually. It's mainly because it was a page turner. I adored this book. I will say, I'm glad I'd sort of seen warnings that this goes a little bit strange. I'd also say though that that led to me kind of almost predicting how it went strange. I'm not gonna say anything here, it'd be quite spoilery. But this starts off quite normal with everyone going off to this kind of health spa retreat kind of building. And you flip perspectives between each of the people that are going. You also get the perspectives of some of the staff there. So there's lots of perspectives to keep up with this, but I felt like everyone's voices felt really natural. It was easily possible to kind of distinguish between all those voices, which I really appreciated. I think that this was so unbelievably well written. And actually, I surprised myself a bit with this one because obviously I've read and loved her work in the past, but because I'd seen kind of quite a low average rating for this one, I predicted this to be quite low compared to how I went. I gave this five stars. I enjoyed getting to know all the different characters. I enjoyed all the little kind of subplots going on with their lives, why they were going to this place. I loved the kind of twist of what this place actually was, even though I predicted it earlier than it actually came out. What I did not predict was how this would just go the extra mile. This is a, such a clever book because it is aware at times that it's a book <laughs> and I love when things are able to do that. It was just such an extra touch because one of the characters in this novel 
possibly the main character, if you were to kind of say that one of them is a main character, is an author. So, yeah, I just thought that was a really clever thing that really added to my enjoyment. I don't think I really hated any one character. At times, there were times where I thought, what? What? Am I actually meant to kind of like you? But then there was always reasoning behind everyone's actions. You always had such a clear view of what was going on, why people were acting as they were, their histories, their kind of everything that makes them who they are and therefore why they act how they do became integral to some of the things that happen later on in this book because boy does it get crazy and you have to suspend your belief a little bit that this could actually happen. Well, I suppose it could. I could definitely see this having the potential for it to happen. It's a strange one. I still haven't read that many of Leanne Moriarty's works, so I've read Three Wishes, The Husband's Secret and this. And if I'm remembering correctly, I've given them all five stars, so I can't really distinguish between them right now or sort of place this in any position to compare it with her other work, but I really enjoyed this. If you're a Leanne Moriarty fan, I highly recommend checking this out because it's a really good example of how complex her writing can actually be. If you're just looking for some like kind of women's fiction that's a bit different, because boy is this different. No one dies. It's not a murder mystery or anything. But at the same time, it's mysterious. It's dark. It's twisted, but it's kind of just like a fun contemporary at the same time. It's so difficult to explain. It's impossible without spoiling to kind of say much more on this. I love the characters. I love the storytelling. I loved everything about this book. And yeah, five stars, five stars, five stars. Highly recommend. So thank you so much for watching this video review. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe by clicking the image of me if you want to see more book views and other bookish content from me. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.